This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass. So we'll start with the definition of relative atomic mass. Relative atomic mass is the weighted average mass of the naturally occurring isotopes of an element relative to one twelfth the mass of an atom of carbon-12. The relative atomic mass scale is based on the isotope carbon-12, which has a mass of exactly 12 AMU. On the left we can see the symbol for the isotope carbon-12. It is to this isotope that the masses of other atoms are compared. The relative atomic masses of elements can be found on a periodic table. Hydrogen has a relative atomic mass of 1.01. Magnesium has a relative atomic mass of 24.31. Chlorine has a relative atomic mass of 35.45 and iron has a relative atomic mass of 55.85. As you can see, relative atomic masses are not usually whole numbers. This is because they are a weighted average of the naturally occurring isotopes of that element. We'll look at how to calculate relative atomic mass later in the video. Note that because this is a relative scale, relative atomic masses are dimensionless, in that they have no units. Next, we'll look at how the masses of atoms can be compared using their relative atomic masses. In this table we have the element, its relative atomic mass, and its mass compared to the isotope carbon-12. The first example is hydrogen, which has a relative atomic mass of 1.01. .01. This means that an atom of hydrogen is approximately 12 times lighter than an atom of carbon-12. Next is helium, which has a relative atomic mass of 4.00, which means that a helium atom is approximately three times lighter than an atom of carbon-12. Next is magnesium, with a relative atomic mass of 24.31, which means that a magnesium atom is approximately two times heavier than an atom of carbon-12. Next is phosphorus, with a relative atomic mass of 30.07, and is approximately 2.5 times heavier than an atom of carbon-12. And finally we have chlorine with a relative atomic mass of 35.45, which is approximately 3 times heavier than an atom of carbon-12. We can also use relative atomic masses to compare the masses of different atoms. For example, an atom of helium is approximately 4 times heavier than an atom of hydrogen, and an atom of magnesium is approximately 6 times heavier than an atom of helium. So from this table we can see that relative atomic mass values can be used to compare the masses of different atoms to carbon-12, as well as each other. Next we look at how to calculate the relative atomic mass of an element. In this table we have the three naturally occurring isotopes of magnesium. They are magnesium-24, magnesium-25 and magnesium-26. In the second column we have their relative abundances. So we'll use these values to calculate the relative atomic mass of magnesium. To do this we multiply the mass of each isotope by its relative abundance. We then add these together and divide by 100 to get the mass of one atom. So using these values we get a relative atomic mass for magnesium of 24.32. Note that because it's a relative scale, there are no units. In this slide we'll look at relative molecular mass. Relative molecular mass is the weighted average mass of a molecule relative to one twelfth the mass of an atom of carbon-12. The relative molecular mass of a molecule is the sum of the relative atomic masses of the atoms in the molecule. So in this table we have some examples. Starting with hydrogen, which is a diatomic molecule consisting of two hydrogen atoms bonded together. Each hydrogen atom has a relative atomic mass of 1.01. .01. So we multiply this value by 2 to get a relative molecular mass of 2.02. .02. The next example is H2O, which is composed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. If we add up the relative atomic masses of the atoms, we get a relative molecular mass of 18.02. And finally we have C2H6 which is ethane. A molecule of ethane is composed of two carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. If we add up the relative atomic masses of the atoms, we get a relative molecular mass of 30.08. Note that like relative atomic masses, relative molecular masses do not have units. 
we'll end the video by looking at relative formula mass. The term relative formula mass is mostly used for compounds that do not form molecules, such as ionic compounds. On the left we can see the structure of an ionic compound. Because ionic compounds do not form molecules, we use the term relative formula mass instead of relative molecular mass. For example, the relative formula mass of sodium chloride, which is NaCl, is 58.44. We calculate this by adding together the relative atomic masses of sodium and chlorine. So that's all from this video. In the next video, I'll be looking at molar mass.